So let's take a look inside the hatch. It still utilizes all the factory hardware, seals, closures, and this really is uh, a hatch replacement complemented by the new lower profile rear spoiler on the car, as well as uh, a new halo cover to allow that roof line continuation straight back. But otherwise, a direct replacement with no cutting or modification to the car. Otherwise, the kit is entirely reversible, can be put back to stock very easily. The construction is interesting. It's all carbon fiber, inner and outer shells and hatch, uh, real tempered glass, bonded in place with defrogger, defogger, still factory, fully functional. Um, the upper rear hatch spoiler is bonded in place and carbon fiber entirely and uh, machined from CAD data so the car was all designed in CAD directly machine uh, tooling for the carbon fiber construction and uh, the first parts out of the mold are the first production parts which are this car. Perfect fit. One uh, question we get a lot is rearward visibility. Uh, from standing back from the car it looks like uh, the visibility may have been compromised but in fact uh, we find that it's um, it's just as good, if not a little bit better than original, uh, primarily due to the fact that the side small quarter glass pieces allow some side rear visibility. And with the rear glass being a little more upright than it is in the factory coupe, uh, there's a little bit less distortion looking through the glass. So the top line was maybe uh, three quarters of an inch lower than the factory, um, but this doesn't uh, find to impede rearward visibility out of the car.